In a small village nestled among the hills, there lived a dedicated falconer named Jody Pastor. Jody was a nature enthusiast and loved working with birds of all kinds, but his heart truly belonged to owls. He had a particular affinity for barn owls, training them to entertain the public with their graceful flights and acrobatics. Jody was known far and wide for his skilled handling of these magnificent creatures, and many people traveled great distances to witness his breathtaking shows. Jody had a pet barn owl named Gabber who was as beautiful as they come. Gabber had been raised by humans since he was a hatchling and as a result, was quite comfortable around people. He rarely took the initiative to interact with other animals, however, which made the friendship he formed with another of Jody's pets all the more surprising. Foom, Jody's solid black cat, and Gabber became inseparable. Foom would often follow Jody and Gabber on their daily trips to the nearby woods for flying practice. At first, Jody worried that their games of chase through the air might turn dangerous, as both animals possessed razor-sharp claws. However, as time went on, it became clear that their bond was strong and that they genuinely enjoyed each other's company. One day, as the trio ventured deeper into the woods than usual, they stumbled upon a hidden grove. At the center of the grove was a large, crystal-clear pond, its surface shimmering with the reflection of the surrounding trees. Jody decided that this magical place would become their new sanctuary, a haven where they could escape the demands of the world and enjoy each other's company. In this secluded spot, Gabber's flying skills flourished. He would soar high into the sky, only to dive down and skim the surface of the pond, creating ripples that sent droplets of water dancing through the air. Foom, in turn, honed his hunting skills by stalking the shadows, chasing after leaves and insects that dared to flutter too close to the ground. It wasn't long before word of the secret grove spread through the village. Curious children and adults alike would sneak into the woods to catch a glimpse of Jody, Gabber, and Foom at play. The trio welcomed these visitors, and soon, the grove became a gathering place for people seeking a moment of peace and the beauty of nature. One fateful day, a traveling merchant arrived in the village, carrying with him a collection of rare and exotic animals. Among them was a majestic golden eagle named Aurelius, who had been captured in a far-off land. When Jody heard of this magnificent bird, he couldn't resist the urge to see it for himself. He struck a deal with the merchant, agreeing to pay him a large sum of money for Aurelius in exchange for the bird's freedom. As Jody began working with Aurelius, the dynamics within the trio started to change. Gabber and Foom grew jealous of the attention that Jody was giving to the newcomer. They would often sulk in the grove, watching from afar as Jody and Aurelius practiced their intricate aerial maneuvers. However, in reality the man's love was equally divided amongst the animals. Their joyful games continued and despite the initial period of jealousness, and the rest of the group slowly welcomed the golden eagle to their family. Then, tragedy struck when Foom, Jody's solid black cat, fell gravely ill. The once energetic cat grew weak, unable to eat or walk. The once happy household grew somber as Jody and Gabber stayed by Foom's side, hoping for a miracle that never came. Foom passed away, leaving Jody and Gabber heartbroken. In his grief, Jody buried Foom in the woods where they had shared so many happy memories. In the following months, Jody tried releasing Aurelius back into the wild. However, the golden eagle was reluctant to fly away. Maybe the years of captivity took their toll on the majestic bird, and it was now refusing to accept its own freedom. It would always come back in the comfortable and spacious cage that Jody created for him after purchasing Aurelius from the merchant. As the seasons changed and the woods grew, Jody carried on with Gabber and Aurelius, their bond strengthened by the love and loss they shared. They returned to the grove, finding solace in the memories of their time with Foom. Jody also decided to dedicate more time to teaching the village children about the wonders of nature and the importance of respecting all living creatures. One day, while Jody was in the grove with Gabber and Aurelius, they discovered a tiny, abandoned kitten. With its soft fur and wide, curious eyes, it reminded them of Foom. They took the kitten in, naming her Luna, and they became inseparable, much like them and Foom had been. Luna brought a sense of joy and renewal to their lives, helping to heal the wounds left by Foom's passing. Together they continued to explore the woods and share their love of nature with the villagers. As Luna grew, she developed an adventurous spirit, much like Foom's. The trio would often engage in thrilling games, with Luna leaping high into the air to try to catch Gabber, only for the owl to swoop away at the last moment, whilst the eagle majestically watching them from above. The grove became a symbol of love, friendship, and unity, a testament to the powerful bonds that can form between different creatures. Dear friends, we hope you enjoyed this heartwarming story as much as we did.
If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more incredible tales that celebrate the beauty of life and the magic of our world. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.